What's up, Star Wars action figure fans and collectors? Filmmaker Mike, aka now Jedi Mike, and I'm back with a Star Wars Black Series archive action figure review. So, of course, as you can see and you can tell, I've got Boba Fett. So, here's Boba Fett in the archive packaging. This was released last year, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah. Or was it 2018 now? Um, <laughs> uh, I know it's been a while, but hey, it's all good. All right, so here's the archive packaging. Um, pretty cool. This is the first release, of course. I do have this. I think I still have this figure. I think I sold it. I can't remember. I, I'm pretty sure I still have this figure. Um, in the orange line. Picked it up at Toys R Us. Oh, man. Rest in peace, Toys R Us. Well, it's sort of back, but of course not as wide nationwide as uh, we collectors would have liked. But hey, who knows? Perhaps they can build themselves up, right? So anyway, here's the Archive Boba Fett. It features the original, of course, release and some nice uh, Black Series art here. Um, the name of the artist escapes me right now, but I have tagged him on some Instagram. Um, I'll try to tag him when I post this video. Um, he does some great artwork for the Black Series packaging with the character art. And of course, we've got a little bio here. The notorious bounty hunter Boba Fett prepares to deliver the Carbonite Frozen Han Solo to Jabba the Hutt. And yes, the uh, start of the um, Black Series line was 2013. And my, my, how far we've come. So it's pretty cool because it's um, the packaging is not the typical box uh, packaging. It is the card back and the bubble. And of course, more of that gorgeous artwork here. we got a nice card here. Some cuts on the card back. And then the um, J-hook right there. Hanging on the pegs. So... Archive Hasbro logo, Star Wars The Black Series. All right, so got a good look at the packaging. Probably have seen this around. Well, it's time to open it up. And um, I never did review my original one. I think, yeah, I, I'm, yeah, now that I remember, I still have it. I didn't sell that one. But hey, now I'm reviewing this one. So let's release Boba Fett. From not his Sarlacc prison, his plastic and cardboard prison. So no elastic bands, which is always great. My mind, look at this figure. This figure is looking great. Really looking cool. Popping them out of this plastic carbonite. <laughs> and um, let me just get his blaster here. He's got a bunch of weapons. Blaster pistol. And of course his jetpack oh yeah bubble it's talking about asmr oh maybe the cracks is too loud but this one is asmr <laughs> asmr quality <laughs> content anyway so here's boba fett really cool looking figure six inches of course and um Already noticing some great paint apps and detail. Of course, we've got the scuff marks, the scratches, and then the, the articulation. Ball jointed neck right there. Or ball jointed, yeah, ball jointed head, actually. So lots of movement for the helmet can look. That's the as far as much you can look up. You can look down a lot better. And then full range of motion. You can even turn his head to the side. And then, of course shoulder ball jointed articulation ball hinged as well um these shoulder pads here limit the movement of the shoulders as you can see and then of course ball hinged elbows swivel wrists that also go in and out which is great right there and then swivel or ball jointed torso ball hinged hips and then they also swivel Upper thighs, ball hinged knees, right there, and of course ball hinged ankles, and they also swivel, and they can, I believe they can rock as well, yeah, they can rock to the side, so you can get some dynamic poses, love the fabric cape right here, and again the paint apps and the detail on his armor, his gauntlets, just great stuff, Let's look at that gauntlet. Great, great paint apps, and it's just the detail. It's really, really well done and very, very nice. So, 
Let's put his jetpack here. So you just got a peg. There's the peg hole for his jetpack. And that just pushes in and locks in like just like so. Um, I do wish we got some flame effects for his rocket jetpack and even a perhaps a flight stand. That would have been cool. So you can pose him. And then, of course, he's got his blaster pistol right here, which is um, fits in his holster right there. And then, of course, his main blaster. I forget the model of his main blaster, this blaster rifle. But uh, it's cool. And it's... I gotta say, it's his trademark weapon, right? Which is cool. My name is Boba Fett. So, trying to... Yeah, just take some time. And I like the trigger finger there. That's pretty cool on both hands there's a trigger finger so it looks like he's ready to pull the trigger on his blaster which is really cool um it's just uh there we go so there's blaster get him into some dynamic poses right here i love this really digging this figure my goodness Look at that, it just looks so cool. <laughs> I've missed reviewing action figures. That's for ding dong dang sure. <laughs> so uh, I hope you have also missed seeing these reviews as much as I have missed making them. So uh, there's Boba Fett. He's got his spikes right there. My goodness, what a figure. Yeah, it's all about opening the toys and enjoying them. My goodness, makes me want to take this guy out for some artsy Instagram photos which if you haven't been following me follow me at filmmaker Mike but perhaps a name change will soon be happening uh, unfortunately haven't heard anything from YouTube or Google as far as getting my channel back so hey that's why I started this new channel and please do spread the word to the other to fellow other uh, filmmaker Mike subscribers and fans um, just so they can uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, not lose track. So there you go. My goodness, what a figure! Look at the, look at this is a work of art. Look at that. Look at the paint apps and the, the detail. Just my goodness, what have I been missing? I'm missing a lot. That's for sure. Look at all the scuffs and the helmet. My goodness, this is a solid. Even the blaster, you've got some detail right there and some paint apps on the barrel. Wow. And the blaster pistol here, he can also hold on his other hand. So why not do two blasters? Mando style, Mando! Which I will definitely be reviewing fairly soon, the Mandalorian figure, which I've had since October. Um, and of course, it got really scored on the carbonized, which is awesome! Target restock, so... Hopefully, if you're looking for one, you were able to get one during the restock or check your, keep checking your local Target and hopefully restock again soon. So, my goodness, just looking at this figure from this angle. Oh, man, that looks cool. That looks cool. Uh, I have missed making these action figure reviews. And wow, what, what a figure. Um, I've got my little rotating display stand here. I don't know how well he'll stand without an actual figure stand, but hey, let's give it a shot. <laughs> Let me just try to get him in a pose here that will hold, hopefully. Um, yeah, because he's going to fall off... Um, fairly quickly if he doesn't have a stable pose yeah I wish they included an action figure or flight standers of some sort on the rotating stand that would have been awesome yeah it's pretty tough to get him in a pose without a stand of any sort so that's disappointing um <laughs> use that to yeah but man this is a great great figure if you have not picked this up what are you waiting for or if you have and you haven't opened it what are you waiting for 
<laughs> Don't be like me. Look at this. Look at that. I am Boba Fett. Look at this figure, man. It's a work of art. It is beautiful. And uh, I'm so happy I opened this finally. What a figure. Such detail. Such paint apps. <laughs> wow. You got to open that Mando soon. Have him go against Boba Fett. So yeah, there you go. Man, this is a highly recommended action figure. Um, archive series or the original, I'm not sure. Yeah, I have to <laughs> look at the original. I'm assuming it's the same, more of the same, just perhaps uh, updated sculpt and uh, detail. But hey, you never know. You gotta check that one out too. So anyway, thank you for joining me on this uh, Star Wars Black Series archive action figure review on the one and only Boba Fett. Look at that. Oh my god, I can't get over this just looking at this from this angle. Just a great figure. Oh my god, I'm geeking out. <laughs> anyway, please feel free to post your comments below. Be nice and um, let me know your thoughts on this figure if you've already picked it up or if you haven't. Um, check it out. My goodness, it's a great figure. And uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Definitely going to give this a solid 5 out of 5 Mando Bucket Helmets. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for my next video. And please feel free to subscribe if this is your first time joining me. Um, if you haven't joined the previous channel or you weren't a subscriber then, I do appreciate it if you subscribe to this channel. And uh, again, thank you all for watching. See you all again soon. Until next time, may the force be with you, bro.